Are you a web developer or a web administrator? And do you want to move to a cybersecurity career? You have all of the advantages in the world. And I assume that you already know the concepts of web technologies. Now it's time to understand the security concepts behind it. And this is what this video is all about. We will talk about tools, certifications, appliances, and web programming languages. You need to become a web security specialist. For those who are new to this channel, welcome. I am your host, name is Dean Armada, and I am the internet. Action star. And on this channel, we talk about tech careers and certifications, trivia and tutorials in cybersecurity, trivia and tutorials in cloud and data center, and my journey as an IT instructor. So feel free to check out the rest of the channel and consider subscribing. We have a separate video about which programming languages used by hackers and penetration testers. We will use most of those languages here as a web security specialist. We don't need assembly or any languages used for malware development, as we are focusing only on identifying web vulnerabilities, escalating web attacks, and protecting web servers. Python and JavaScript for me are the mandatory skills. JavaScript has two purposes. First is for cross-site scripting and to identify web vulnerabilities. This is when the target applications are running Node.js. Now, Bash and PHP are just bonus skills. All right, since you are already a web developer, any programming languages for web applications would be beneficial because it allows you to easily look for web vulnerabilities and exploits. This could be from a potential vulnerable functions or from an insecure coding. Other common language for web-based applications are Java, Go, .NET, and many more. Our main tool is Web Proxy, and the most popular and the most commonly used by most web security professionals is Burp Suite. Burp Suite is not just a web proxy. It also includes features for automating attacks, manipulating requests, decoding content, web crawling, and many others. It also has an API integration with Python. And it has three versions, community, which is free, or the paid versions. We have the professional and enterprise versions. We also have OWASP Zap, which is an alternative to Burp Suite. Burp Suite Professional and Enterprise is better, but if you compare Burp Suite Community Edition to OWASP Zap, OWASP Zap has an advantage as web application scanning is not available in Burp Suite Free or Community Edition. For web scanners, first, Nmap is a tool not specifically for web, but is still the best option for initial web deep scanning. We also have Nikto and WhatWeb. It's another vulnerability scanner, but dedicated for web applications. It scans dangerous files, CGIs, outdated server software, uh, JavaScript libraries, web servers, and other web-related issues. As a web penetration tester, you also need to know how to do Google dorkling or Google hacking. We use Google Hacking Database to find publicly available web security related information as it contains Google search terms that frequently reveal vulnerabilities. Next, Git Rob. This allows you to find potential sensitive information that are pushed to GitHub. We also have Shodan and Census. Both are security centric search engine and very common tools used to find services, web, and IoT-related information without scanning. Other tools, we have FPuff. This is a tool used for web fuzzing, and it is written in Golang. And this is way faster than other fuzzing tools. It's free, open source, and even if it's CLI-based, it's still easy to use. Next is Deer Buster and Deer Search. Both tools used to brute force web application directories and file names. 
also attempts to find many things such as hidden pages, hidden files, sub applications, and many more. Next is Parameth. This is another brute force tool, but more on HTTP GET and post parameters. Retar JS. This detects outdated JavaScript libraries and Node.js packages. And last, CVE database. This contains publicly disclosed vulnerabilities and you can use those information against the target. All right, so there are many penetration testing tools, but my team, these are the common tools we use. We will be talking some of these tools in more detail in a dedicated video. I am borrowing career and certification captain slide, cybersecurity career roadmap, and here is the original. It's too many, right? And this is designed for many different tracks, such as security engineer, security analyst, and operations, security management, etc. What we want to know is what would be the best certification track for web security specialist, and we'll also have three levels. There, I remove many certifications. We just need those few, only related to web security. Now, under tier one, assuming you are already familiar with web programming, the best certification to start with is CompTIA Security Plus. For penetration testing, it would be advantageous if you have a solid foundation in Linux. There is no CCNA because we don't need to know Cisco routing switching and its configuration. That's why our next certification is F5CA. F5 Certified Big IP Administrator covers networking, web technologies, and how to manage application delivery controller slash load balancer. Pentest Plus, I will put this as an honorable mention. It's really broad. And it talks about not just penetration testing tools, but even organizations, standards, and practices as well. There is web vulnerability and penetration testing topics, but very minimal. Second tier, we have two penetration testing certifications. One is OSWA or Offensive Web Assessor and EWPT, eLearn Web Application Penetration Tester both from Offensive Security and eLearn Security Vendor, and both are hands-on lab, and the certification has no expiration. OSWA is a 24-hour long lab and another 24 hours for documentation and reporting, while EWPT is seven-day long hands-on lab and another seven days for reporting. Next is F5CTS ASM. Well, soon this will become advanced WAF. Anyway, so F5 ASM and Advanced WAF both are the WAF solutions or web application firewall solutions of F5. Uh, what we want to learn is not just offensive side of security, but the defensive side as well. This is the best certification to learn web attack prevention. It's 90 to 100 minutes written exam, and it also covers web attacks. If you already passed OSWA or EWPT, you already covered around 20% of the exam. Um, there is no certification or at least not well known for Akamai and Imperva, but any knowledge from these two leading WAF vendors is advantageous, very valuable, and I will put these two as honorable mention. Okay, next, tier three or the expert level. First is the OSWE or Offensive Security Web Expert. This is the upgrade of OSWA, the most advanced penetration testing certification. It's 48 hour lab exam plus another 24 hours for documentation and reporting. Take note, learning programming slash scripting is a must for the exam. All right, next. EWPTX or eLearn Web Application Penetration Tester Extreme. This is the upgrade of EWPT. Also seven days lab and seven days reporting. All right. The device for web technologies are just two. First is the actual server, which is most of the time runs in Linux, 
with web services such as Apache or Nginx. The second is the web application firewall. This is a solution and uh, the leading vendors of this solution or device are Akamai, Imperva, and F5. We are not done yet. There is a special track. We will add the special learning and certification. We will add our favorite tool, Burp Suite. Yes, there is a Burp Suite certification. But before you take the actual exam, you have to complete exercises first. And these are perk here, and we also have three levels. We will start learning Burp Suite on the first year. There is an apprentice level, and it consists of 50 exercises. You can start the exercises while or after preparing for the first level certifications. Next, tier 2.4. We have Burp Suite practitioner level exercises, and it consists of 130 exercises. I know it's too many, but this would really help you understand many different web attacks, and it will help you pass OSWA, EWPT, and F5 CTS ASM. Next year, the expert level. This consists of 30 exercises. Once you finish this, it's time to take Burp Suite Certified Practitioner Exam. It's a four long practical lab exam. They're saying Burp Suite Certified Practitioner Exam is not as difficult as OSWE or EWPTX. So I recommend to take this cert first. As you can see, we just need nine certifications to be a web security expert. Oh, we will also talk about more Burp Suite on a separate video. All right, what if you are like, uh, I don't have much time and don't have the budget for nine certifications. Can we do only two certs per tier? Yes, but don't skip the burp suite and you still need to do three level exercises. But this is tough. I will skip Linux plus. Uh, you can easily self-study uh, Linux commands. And uh, I would also drop EWPT and EWPTX as I consider both an easier version of OSWA and OSWE. So those are the things you need to be a successful web security specialist up to the expert level. On this channel, starting this month, April of 2022, until the rest of the year, we will be focusing on web security. We will be talking about many different web attacks, including programming slash scripting, and how to mitigate them using web application firewalls such as F5, Akmai, and Imperva.